Hello and welcome to Trust TV News Summary. I am Sumaya Abu Bakar. The news in brief. The Supreme Court has affirmed Ahmed Lawan as the authentic candidate of Yobin North Senatorial District. In the late judgment, Justice Sentus Nweze faulted the approach of Bashir Machina in commencing the suit at the Federal High Court's Damaturu Division by way of originating summons and without um, oral evidence to prove allegations of fraud. Out of the 18 political parties in Nigeria, have um, 13 have threatened to withdraw from the February 25th and March 11th general elections in Nigeria over the Naira redesign policy. At a briefing by a coalition of chairmen of political parties, national chairman of the Action Alliance, Kenneth Udeze, on Monday, said the 13 parties won't be interested in the elections if the new deadline of the February 10, 2023 is shifted as demanded by some governors of the All Progressive Congress. The Council of Registered Builders of Nigeria has said Nigeria is now in a state of emergency following rising crisis of building collapse. Chairman of Council Kobon, Samson Ame Okpalua, stated this in Abuja during the induction ceremony of newly registered professional builders. The council identified activities of quacks as the major contributor to building collapse. And lastly, the Malian interim government says the head of United Nations Peacekeeping Mission's Human Rights Division has been asked to leave the country within 48 hours after being declared persona non grata. In a statement on Sunday, it said the decision to expel Guriam Ngefa Atondo Kau um, Andali was connected to his allegedly biased choice of civil society witnesses for on Security Council briefings on Mali, the most recent of which was held on January 27. And that is all on Trust TV News Summary. Do not forget to follow us across all our social media platforms. I am Sumaya Abubakar. Thanks for watching.